Welcome to my Smith Corona typewriter to printer hack. Uh, what I've got here is I've got a Smith Corona Sterling Automatic 12 1960s vintage uh, typewriter. It's actually a beautiful typewriter. Um, I actually kind of like the kind of weird blue color scheme. Um, but what I do is I bought this typewriter about um, five or six years ago thinking I was going to uh, easily convert it into a printer. Why? Just as a hack. And what I uh, thought was, well, it's electric, so the switches that um, are underneath the keys uh, have to be somewhat, uh, they have to be electronic switches, right? Uh, as it turns out, there's almost no electronics. In fact, there's zero electronics inside this typewriter. Uh, what it's got is a little clutch that provides a, uh, a kind of a force uh, advantage to the, to the key strikes. Um, and that's, what's, uh, that's what you hear with the motor going there. Um, but all the keys are actually mechanical, and there's no electronic switching at all. So uh, after kind of scratching my head about it and, and trying to figure out what the story was uh, for, for on and off for a couple of years, just kind of tinkering, um, I finally, uh, with the help of uh, a colleague of mine, Bruce Molay, uh, decided that uh, the solenoid route was going to be the, uh, the way to go. And, and what these are is just I just put, it uh, uh, turns out, 48 solenoids on this laser cut uh, acrylic kind of holder here. Uh, set them, you set them on the key keyboard like this, and um, the rest is uh, about electronics and uh, a little bit of software and Arduino. The, uh, as you can see, it types pretty well. Um, every so often it seems to miss a key here and there, but that's probably a, a mechanical issue rather than a hardware issue at this point. Um, what I did was I built a little custom PCB here. You can kind of see this is actually um, a bunch of shift registers. And the shift registers actually uh, basically shift in the proper key, uh, the bit for the proper key, and then um, as and then they actually uh, open the shift register uh, latches, and that the key that's been shifted in actually gets uh, gets struck. And it's uh, the controller is actually just kind of a standard Arduino Uno. Um, you'll notice I also have a bell here. Uh, the typewriter does have a bell, um, as they all do, uh, but the bell is used for kind of a special extra part of the project that, um, that uh, is in the other video. Um, but uh, what it can do is it actually can print to the, uh, print from the um, computer. I can print whatever I want. Um, let's try Hello World and there we go. And of course, it looks like it missed a comma in there. But uh, and you can actually do the little, I've actually got the bell wired up as well. Uh, but it's, um, I've, got a, I've got a little uh, printer for, or a printer driver, kind of a CUPS printer driver that I can print uh, files from. And uh, it's just kind of been fun. This, um, uh, the whole project's taken oh, roughly four or five months with the help of uh, my, uh, my roommate Derek Seabury at the Artisans Asylum and uh, one of my students, uh, Kate Wozenchuk, who's an undergraduate here at Tufts University. Um, you can actually hear the, the printer kind of, it's got some, or the typewriter's got some uh, loose, connect, loose uh, I don't know, mechanics inside of it that, are, that do that. But um, as I say, this has been a fun project. It's, uh, it's definitely been uh, a lot of cabling and uh, setup and all. Um, the board was actually, I actually got the board uh, fabbed at uh, OSH Park, and uh, that's been kind of a fun process too. And it's uh, good to go. So that's, um, that's the project. Another interesting thing about this project is that uh, typewriters are, are interesting in that they're, if you look at the keyboard themselves, so for those who've never used a keyboard 
or a typewriter before. You might not know this, but if you notice, let's see if you can see here, if I can zoom in here, you'll notice that, notice what key it actually starts on for the numbering. It starts on key number two, and there is no one. It's because the lowercase l actually doubles as the one digit. Why do they do that? I suppose to save keyboard space, and that's the way the old mechanical keyboards uh, went. It's also interesting to notice that comma and period are doubled on the thing, so they, on the key. So they actually could have used uh, two extra spots on there. Um, the other thing that's interesting is there isn't any exclamation point, which normally would be what above the one. So there's no exclamation point. But the the way you type an exclamation point on these typewriters is you first type a uh, apostrophe, then you type a backspace, and then you type a period. Okay, let me demonstrate that for you. I'll type a bunch of a uh, bunch of exclamation points here. You kind of see that. Uh, that was a little hard to see there with the thing, but I'll do it again. We can type. And you can see that it's typing the uh, dollar signs and or the exclamation points in there. So uh, it's interesting uh, trying to trying to do some of the programming for this, but overall it was pretty fun. <laughs>